Nobody can get close to me. I'm the best fighter in the world. This is the fight the world's been waiting for. As the hours count down towards the biggest fight of the year and the biggest exhibition boxing match ever in history, we get ready for Jake Paul to go against Iron Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is 58 years of age and has been in the sport of boxing for over 40 years. From rags to riches, let's see if Mike Tyson can put it all together and knock out Jake Paul or at least get the victory. Jake Paul, his opponent on the other side of the ring, has gone from the Disney Channel to YouTube and now boxing. And today, Sports Illustrated has asked us to put together a piece of Jake Paul's watch collection versus Iron Mike Tyson's watch collection. Let's get into the watches, their prices, and you guys can decide who has the best collection. First off, Mike Tyson. And this is my favorite watch in this collection of watches that we put together for Sports Illustrated. This is the Diamond Pave Piaget watch and maybe the most controversial watch ever in history of watches. Mike Tyson, at the height of his fame, walked into a Piaget boutique and spotted this diamond watch. He immediately put it on his wrist, looked to the Piaget sales clerk and said, Showtime will pay for this. He walked out of the Piaget boutique and walked off without paying at all. Now, after repeated attempts from Showtime's lawyers and team members, Mike Tyson refused to pay for the watch. Um, he then threatened to pull out of a big boxing match and Showtime actually was cornered and Showtime actually had to pay for the watch. It was a very hefty price tag, but Mike Tyson, after they paid for this watch, continued to wear this watch at every fight that he had going forward. Next on the list is the yellow gold Cartier Pasha chronograph. This watch measures in 38 millimeters, which is a little bit untraditional compared to the current 40 and 41 millimeter Cartier Pashas. Now this watch is particularly special because of the black subdials that it has on the chronograph. You don't see many like this. You see the blue and you see other colors, but not this black so much. This watch you can see in Mike Tyson's early ages of his career. He's seen wearing it in a very famous photo with Don King. Uh, and I think Mike Tyson is wearing red overalls. This watch today has a value of over 15,000. And what made it special is Mike Tyson actually gifted it to Don King. And, Mike, and Don King actually is seen wearing this watch at a few press conferences later in Mike Tyson's career. Next on the list is Mike Tyson's 18038. This is the classic Day Date Rolex President in a 36 millimeter size. Now when you think of Mike Tyson, you might think big Iron Mike and bigger than life, but it's, it's strange that Mike Tyson actually loved smaller watches. He's also seen walking around his house and in several photos wearing a 34 millimeter Rolex Ois Perpetual. But the 18038 is an instant classic in his collection. This is a great watch and its current value is about 15,000. Now let's get into Jake Paul's collection. While Mike Tyson's watch collection is all about timeless style and classic flair, Jake Paul's collection represents a bit more of modern luxury. First up, we have the Jacob & Co. Billionaire Watch. This watch has an estimated value of $7 million. He was seen wearing this watch at a press conference just before the fight, and he's also been seen in his house on a few Instagram videos showing off the watch on his wrist. This watch has 300 Ashoka cut diamonds, as reported from Jacob & Co., and the value of $7 million makes it one of the most expensive watches that I've seen today and especially, and it's very fitting that someone like Jake Paul is wearing it. Jake Paul has also gone on to say that he will be wearing the most expensive outfit ever in boxing history. I don't know what this means, but he said his outfit will be at least $1 million and he'll be driving in a very special car that I'm excited to see. Let's see what's on his wrist, but I do think that it'll be this Jacob & Co. billionaire watch. Next up, we have Jake Paul's Bugatti Chiron Tourbillon watch. This watch has an estimated value of 300,000. Now, Jake Paul most famously wore this watch at his pre-fight press conference for his fight with Anderson Silva. And even more famously, he rode it on a horse wearing this rose gold Bugatti watch. My favorite part about the watch is the power reserve gauge that it has. It looks just like a fuel gauge. It's pretty neat, and this watch is designed to look just like the car. Mr. Jacob & Co. is one of the world's best designers in the world of luxury watches. Now, with this watch in particular, he fused the automotive industry with luxury watch making, and it's a very beautiful timepiece. Next up, we have Jake Paul's Rolex Ois Perpetual 41mm 124-300 with the Tiffany dial. The 41mm version of this watch has recently been discontinued by Rolex, and it's a very rare watch to see. The price tag on it is 
double, triple, even quadruple of what the retail price is, trading at about $25,000 to $30,000. This watch is currently in our inventory on watchguys.com. This watch, estimated value, like I said, $25,000 to $30,000. You can get it on watchguys.com for $27,000. I have one in brand new condition that has the discontinued year and it's full factory stickers. Guys, comment below who you think had the best watch collection. Is it Mike Tyson or is it Jake Paul? Lastly, I'm taking Mike Tyson to win the fight. Comment below your pick. See you guys soon on Watch Guys. Hit the subscribe button for more content just like this. God bless.